Hi guys, it's Crystal here for Talk To Me Tuesday. I was not planning to make a video today, which is why I'm wearing a hooded sweater and look like a, I don't know, whatever. Look like I couldn't be bothered. It was because I couldn't be bothered originally. But here I am. Um, I don't know why I decided to make a video, but I don't know. The whim hit me, so here I am. Since my last video, I've done a little bit, not a ton of sewing, I kind of wasn't really in the mood, but I've done a few blocks. So again, anybody on Instagram will have seen these already. So this is part of up behind me, um, the blocks for the summer sampler. I am not making a version of this to go with the ones on the other side. Um, it was actually remarkably easy for curve piecing. It's a very gentle curve, which helps, but um, I don't know, it's just not my not really my jam so I don't think I'll make another one and I don't want to make I only want to make 12 blocks for that one so it's an easy one to cut so I did that one and this one which was the one that was this was the one that I was about to start working on after my last video so this one was followed by the curved one and then I haven't done it more since then because I got distracted by another project which is a kind of Halloweeny pumpkin quilt I have not got very much of it done, and I, well, I mean, I've got some of it done, about a quarter of it maybe done. Um, so there are like white pumpkins, and then there are also orange pumpkins, and um, these ones are like the light colored ones with the white pumpkins. I wish that I had paid a little more attention to how these fabrics would work together, because this orange does not stand out enough, but, you know, is what it is. That's all right. And then I've also finished one of the ones with the white background. I think it probably shows best in this block, so um, I don't know. I don't usually do like seasonal decorating, but the spirit moved me. There it is. And then I have, whoops, I have with me a mini quilt that I made several years ago. However many years ago there was purple as a uh, Pantone color of the year. I don't remember how many years ago that was. I probably have made videos about it twice. So when I first made this mini, I think I talked about doing it a lot. It's kind of, um, because originally I was gonna cut it, there's, this is so complicated. So when I first made this, it's all done hand stitching and I drew on the pattern of orchids. Oh, That was what it was called, Radiant Orchid. That was the color from Pantone. It was called Radiant, Radiant Orchid. So I had made this orchid shape, and then I did all this straight line stitching across. And the way that it was designed was I was supposed to be able to cut out the orchid, and there's a layer of white underneath it, but I was afraid that some of my threads would show, as indeed they do. Um, but I was afraid they were going to show, so I didn't cut it. I just bound it and sent it off to my mother because um, I always make minis for her so she the reason why you might have seen it a bunch of times is she got it and she liked it but when I bound it I had bound it all with this color and I nine times out of ten nine point eight times out of ten I do a separate color binding at some point in the binding a lot of people do that now but when I first started sewing it wasn't that common. I, I don't think I'd ever seen it to be honest but the first time I did it was just because I didn't have enough binding made and I had to add something to finish it so um, I started doing that and now I do it mostly in everything I make but in this particular mini I hadn't done it. My mom sent it back because she thought it needed this other color of binding in it so I undid binding, put it back in, sent it back to her. Well I was home this weekend for Thanksgiving and she sent it back with me again because the orchids don't stand out enough and so it just looked like a big purple square on the wall. So I'm trying to cut out and then I'll turn under and applique down, like reverse applique I guess, um, the purple layer so that the white will show up and I'm hoping it turns out good. I mean, this one, there were two bits, you can only see one right now, but there were two bits of thread sticking out that shouldn't have been. 
Um, so who knows what will be in the rest of them, but hopefully it won't be too hard to finagle into doing what I want it to do. If it is, I might have to actually applique over top of it. Instead of doing the reverse applique, I might have to do regular applique, but I'm not very good at applique, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't get destroyed, but I don't know. I'm just going to get it wrapped back up for Christmas again like it was the first time because I feel like she's asked me to do more work, so she's going to get it for Christmas twice. Um, anyway, that's all from me today, I guess. Um, take care, everybody. Bye.